Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we continue working on our Soam Sound 12 and a half sailboat building project. In the last video, we concentrated on beveling the inner stem. And so once we got that done, now this time we're gonna show you how we actually get it attached to the boat. So we're glad you're here. Welcome back. If you happen to be new to the channel, welcome. And if you're looking for a boat build uh, with a lot of content and probably a long period of time <laughs> to follow, um, hopefully this is for you. If you like it, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you subscribe, click the little bell and you will get update notifications when future videos come out. We do have about 21 episodes so far, I think, and we will link a playlist uh, at the end of the video and also in the video description. All right, we're glad you're here. Let's jump in. I'll show you how we got the stem put on. Okay, so there's frame number four at four foot, two foot. Here's the front of the jig. I've already got lines marked down on there to where the center is, and then the two lines on the outside are at the actual width of the stem, the inner stem. So what we're gonna try to do is mount the inner stem on here. I am going to secure frames two and four to the jig, but we're really pretty close right now anyway. That black magic marker that's on that little cleat that is supposed to designate four feet from there to there. And so those need to line up on the inside of the building jig of this side rail and on both sides. And so you can see that that mark is really good there, pretty close. And if you just look at it and look at where those other frames are, you can see that's pretty well right in the middle. So we're gonna make sure though, my lines aren't as dark on the two foot one, but again, you can see just underneath the clamp there where that line is, it needs to be right on the inside of the building jig. And again, we're right, we're right close. So I, I believe that we're really well centered. Now there's gonna be other ways to double check that. Um, we've actually got you know, a line up there that's the center line. They even marked it up on the top. And then we're going to do the same thing here. And there's, there's a little mark right there that I believe is the center. And that, I'm not sure that line's right. We're going to double check all that. And then we've got the stem pretty well beveled. And then this is the part that attaches up into the frame at four foot. And I have a little mark there that I believe is the center of that. I know that this is the center and we're gonna use this little marking gauge to get the middle of this. So that's the next thing. Okay, great, now I know where the center of that is. Cool. All right, so I feel really good about where this is sitting and I really feel like it's centered just almost perfectly. So we're gonna go ahead and put some screws in here and this will be the first frame that we're actually more permanently setting in the jig. Yeah, we're good enough. And I'm only putting one screw in here. If I find out that I'm not right, nothing's glued, I'm not gonna put any epoxy or anything in here yet. Um, we can always fix it if we have to. Looking pretty good. This board wanted to move just a little bit, come out, or go back. 
Uh, I've, I've secured it now that way, but I kind of want to just put the level on it, make sure we're not just way out of whack. It's pretty good. It's so hard with this kind of flimsy plywood to have it right where you think it should be. It feels like it could come forward just a little bit. That's perfect right there. I need to be mindful of that as I put the stem on there. We'll double check it when I put the stem on there because the idea is to run a screw from the back of here up into the stem. So I may be able to push it just a little bit and make sure it's plumb when we do that. That's good enough. So the only other thing now I want to do is make sure I got a line on here that's in the center. I, I, I know it's centered back here, so we're just going to bring that over the top. It's about four and a quarter. So if I come at two and an eighth. Be right there. Boy, that just lines right up with that. I'm good with that. Okay, I'm not going to really be able to see that very good. Uh, I'd actually like to know my width of the stem itself and draw lines on the outside of here. And I believe I'll do it up here too. So, I have it down here. 23 on each side of it. I'm sorry, 28. There's 10, 20, 8. 10, 20, 8. 10, 20, 8. Man, I can just line that right up. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to clamp this down here. And boy, see, I'm, I'm right on there. I may have to move that just a hair. Yeah, let's see, I'm going to have to play with that just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to, let's make it secure it up there. That looks great. I actually think I'm going to run some bronze in there. It's bronze one and a half inch. We may want more than that, but I think for the moment it'll be okay. So I may actually put one more down and lower. At the moment I'm putting two up pretty, pretty high up. Man, that's just perfect. Well, except that I didn't drill into it far enough and I pushed it out. Didn't pull it together quite as tight as I would like, but we're awful close. All right, now. Dang, that's right on the bubble. That's cool. This, I think, I think we're gonna put a much bigger screw in here. I gotta hold that over just a little bit. It wants to go that way. It's like a deck screw, two and a half inch. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, that's so weird. Where'd that screw go? Don't you hate things like that? It was right here. <laughs> Checking my map. There it is. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna have to drill this out deeper than this. I believe 
that's right on the mark. We're not gonna get it any better than that. We're still right in the middle of this here. So how about that? We mounted the stem. Uh, I think I may put a couple of little blocks in here just to hold this against this and probably run something through the frame, the jig, all the way into here. So none of this down here matters. Our shear line comes right about here. So that's as low as go. Blanking. But uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, good night. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.